Welcome to another TeamFlect use case scenario. Today we'll be covering how you can use TeamFlect to conduct pulse surveys inside Microsoft Teams. But before we get to that, let's answer a few simple questions. Like, what exactly is a pulse survey? A pulse survey is a brief and frequent type of survey that you can conduct to gather very quick feedback on some specific issues. Now, why should you conduct pulse surveys? Because they provide real-time actionable insights, they facilitate decision-making, and they foster continuous improvement. Now that we've covered the what and the why, let's talk about the when. When should you be conducting pulse surveys? Well, you can conduct regular pulse surveys to measure job satisfaction, or you can conduct them during times of organizational change. You can conduct pulse surveys to measure the effectiveness of a training session, or you can simply conduct them after implementing a new policy. No matter how you approach them, they're incredibly versatile and very useful. And now, let's talk about the how. Let me show you how you can use TeamFlect to conduct pulse surveys inside Teams. To create a new survey, all I have to do is go to Surveys. And I'm greeted with three tabs, My Surveys, My Team Surveys, and All Surveys. But now we're clicking New Survey. And I'm clicking New Survey for my team. Now the first thing I have to do is give my survey a name, and then I'm gonna pick one of many incredible pre-made survey templates. And if I'm a Team Flight like Admin, I can click Customize Templates and customize everything about this template. And if I click show questions, I can view all the questions inside this pulse survey. And now I'm picking respondents. If I have a note, I'll add it here. Pick a due date, see how simple everything is. And once I click create, done. I just sent out my pulse survey. That's how easy it is and that's how easy it should be. Now let me show you what it looks like from the account of the people I just sent those surveys out to. Here I am inside Adele's account. I'm going into chat and right here is an adaptive card and this is the survey we just sent out. All the questions are right here and you can fill them out inside the adaptive card. So I'm putting my answers in, I'm picking very satisfied but on a scale of 1 to 5 I'm picking 4. And once I've done that I'll click submit and once again it's very simple and it's done. Now going back into the manager's account, let me show you what finished surveys look like. I'm going back into surveys, my team surveys, and look, this was the one that we sent out to Adele and Alex. Adele just completed it, and here are her answers. And Alex, since he hasn't completed it, I can send him a reminder. I'm clicking send reminder, I can add a note, click send reminder, and done. That's how Pulse surveys work inside TeamFlect. Now, let's take a deeper dive into the TeamFlect Admin Center and let me show you what TeamFlect admins can do with Pulse surveys. Here we are inside the Admin Center. I'm going into Modules and clicking Surveys. Once I click Start New Survey, I can see all the existing TeamFlect Pulse survey templates. And if I want to, I can test them out Start a cycle, edit them, clone them, or delete them. Let's click Start a new cycle from the top left side. We can name our new template right here. We can add a description. And if you look at the right, this is what your new template will look like. Let's go into Visibility and we can adjust Visibility settings alongside Notification settings as well. If we go into Survey Questions, we can edit the questions inside this template. We can either pick from existing question templates, such as training and development survey questions, or add questions of our own. The summary and test section gives you a brief overview of your Pulse survey. And if we click Save and Start, we can now pick automation scenarios. You can either make it a one-time survey or pick an automation scenario, such as send the survey out after an X amount of days. You can give your cycle a name, pick respondents, and once you click Start, your survey cycle will be on its way. We hope you found this TeamFlect use case video helpful. If you have any questions on how Pulse surveys work inside TeamFlect or anything else TeamFlect related, never hesitate to contact our support staff. We absolutely love hearing from you. Have a great day.